to calculate the volume work, you need to first drive the uh, equation for uh, pressure, right? Or it can be volume, so it's uh, P2 over P1 because it's changing pressure, but it can be P2 over P1 if you wish. So your volume work uh, equals negative nRT log of P2 over P1, and because PV equals nRT, uh, your volume work becomes P1 V1 log of P2 over P1, and that's a negative, by the way, which I'm missing. So, uh, rather that's a positive. Uh, and you can calculate the volume work uh, equals 0 0.1 times 200 for your uh, liters uh, times 0 0.8 megapascals over 0 0.1, which is 41.6 kilojoules. I mean, anything around that. If you use NRT and you, you assume the temperature, that's correct as well. So you, cal you assume a temperature, you, uh, you calculate your N, so you know your NRT. Yeah. But whatever your assumed temperature, your number of moles varies. And uh, to calculate the uh, second volume, uh, it's PV uh, equals PV. And V2 equals P1, V1 over P2, which is Boyle's law. So it's 0 0.25 liters. Yeah? Hmm. Anyone? Okay, I'll go around. Uh, if you have questions, ask me. Second question. Uh, 200 liters of air from the atmosphere is compressed isobarically, so constant pressure this time, to 25 liters. Right? It's the exact same question, just isobarically. And remember, you, you, your thermodynamic dynamic terms relate to the path you take. So in this case, it's isobaric. Calculate the volume work of this process and all the stated variables at the, beginning, at the beginning and at the end of the process. So exact same approach, just this time for uh, constant pressure. Yeah? The volume is changing. I'll go right.